Earthquakes are on the rise, as is the cost of oil and food, with an economy moving deeper into recession and threats to our electric grid potentially on the rise. In a worst case scenario, what if I told you there was a true form of life insurance that exists within your grasp built literally for the toughest of storms? News flash, it does exist, and the Survival Center is here to meet your ultimate preparedness needs. Introducing our submarine tough watertight underground shelters designed and built by the Survival Center right here in the Pacific Northwest. And now here's Richard, our tour guide. This is an LED 12 volt light. We have this switch right by the door when you come in, because normally you wouldn't have your AC on, you just have your 12 volts on. So you walk in, you hit a switch, 12 volt light comes on. As you can see, when it's totally dark in here, you can read by that light very well. So our underground shelters are built like a mini submarine. As you'll notice, they're all reinforced both vertically and horizontally. It will withstand the pressures of an earthquake and earth changes. We have put Eden's put special compression rings in at the critical points within here to make it as solid as a mini submarine. This is your Earthship to the future. This is our bunk area here, and you'll notice that you have two that go up and lock in place. Everything locks in place because in an earthquake, and we built this for a potential earthquake, everything will stay where it's supposed to be. So you have two beds on each side of the aisle, and then you have an extra board right here that comes across in this groove right here, which gives you another bed, and the mattress is back here. And then what you do, you, have, you can sleep three people across here, and two up here. So each shelter is basically made for five people. So if you have two shelters, you go for 10. If you have three shelters, you go for 15 with lots of storage. This is our bunk. It's locked in place with spring-loaded pins. And they're heavy, so you know, there's no doubt about it. But it works good. That was, that was good. Okay, edit, edit. <laughs> <laughs> there's the bunk. So what we basically have done here is lowered this board down from the back, from the bottom of the bunk. We take the mattress out of the bunk, put it in against the board, and we have one big couch. Pillows, teddy bears, <laughs> more pillows. This is a special watertight door. This is marine grade. You have to have four dogs or more to make it watertight. And this is watertight. And it has a special gasket. It has a special ring that goes around there where the gasket seats in against it. And you would have this set up so that if you wanted to, you could have a stairs coming down into the shelter if you didn't want to come down the ladder. And we have pictures of that here. A spiral staircase down. And then it would come into, this would be your hub. You could put two, four, you could put as many as these connected together as you wanted to underground. Spiral staircase. You could, different combinations, you could put four that way. You could have three this way. You could put two this way. And a lot of them, when they have more than one, will have a utility module which would be something like this, where in the back where the bathroom and kitchen area is now, we turn it into a generator room, laundry room, sprout room, whatever you wanted. Exercise. We have an optional air filter that is NBC rated. That means nuclear, biological, and chemical. It can be operated three ways. AC power, which the shelters wired for AC. DC power, which is 12 volts, like in your car battery. We actually have a car battery in here running the 12 volt lights. And it can be hand operated with the bellows, and this just pulls up and down. And that sucks in through the bellows and through the filters of the, of the filter. We have three filters. We have a pre-filter, something like a furnace filter. We have a chemical gas filter, and we have a HEPA filter.
HEPA filter is real, real small. It takes out all the dust and stuff. So if you have radiation that attaches to dust that's in the air, when it if it would come into your shelter, it'd be filtered out. And these can be changed out and disposed of. This is the emergency exit, which comes down into the shelter. It comes down. Our main entrance goes up, so we have one that goes one direction and one goes the other, in case something falls on it. Yeah. In fact, in the ceiling up here, one thing people miss is we have these special D-rings that we have welded in the ceiling up here. See these rings? And you can hang things from them. You, you can hang hammocks. You, they have a thing called a gear hammock, which you could put a hammock, it looks like a hammock up there, and you put gear in it, put your stuff in it. So, you know, you can hang stuff up here, because I'm six foot, and I'm still a long way from up here, so you could tie stuff up here. If you had to sleep more people, you could. You actually could sleep someone on this bottom shelf right here. So yeah. We made it wide enough so you, someone could crawl in there. I actually have crawled in there. This and, wouldn't have as much but... Yeah. Well, you know, another thing you could do for food is you could fill the aisle up where I'm walking. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no reason to yeah. have all this empty space. Right there. Yeah. I, I kid a lot of people. I tell them what you really need to do is fill this thing up full of food and your goodies and stuff and eat your way in. <laughs> As you see, we have plenty of shelves and this area starting right here with the boxes, these three shelves with the boxes, the buckets and the cans right here represents one of our deluxe family units which is a year supply for two people. So you have a one year supply for two people here. You could duplicate on the other side, gives you two years. You could put another one up through here, gives you three. You have a minimum of three years supply of food for at least two people. We actually designed this for a family of four to five to be self-sufficient for at least two years or more. So this is the kitchen area. You see we have a huge double stainless steel sink and a lot of area to prepare food in. And underneath the sink, there's a valve that you can collect the gray water to use to flush the toilet. This is a full, uh, fully functional underground shelter with shower and toilet. Large food preparation area, maybe grain mill. We use alcohol in the underground shelters because they burn clean, don't give off toxic fumes. This happens to be a small one burner stove. We actually have a complete oven. It's not in here right now. Everything will exhaust out of your air vents. You open them up. Plenty of storage for your kitchen utensils and food. Okay, this is the toilet and shower area right here has its own vent, has an RV type toilet with the pedal, goes straight down into a septic tank. We suggest people install these right on top of a septic tank. If you have the elevation, you can do it very well. In our utility units, we set up a laundry area, and this is your hand operated dryer. <laughs> And did you see the hand-operated washing machine right here? Well, what we're doing is we're setting everything up to not depend on electricity. Sure. Because we realize someday we may not have alternating current, but we may have direct current, like battery current. So underneath here, we have some batteries hooked up for 12 volts to run our 12 volt lights. All the utilities that come in, you can wire this and plumb it from the outside with the gravity feed uh, water tanks. We have everything is quick disconnected, so you can shut this area down also. This is part of the quick disconnect right here. It's all wired for 12 volts and 110. We have two circuit breakers, a 12 volt, or excuse me, a 15 amp and a 20 amp, along with the 12 volts. The 12 volts also has its own uh, circuit breaker in it. Everything's protected. And this is our ladder coming down into the shelter. This ladder is folded back against. You just have it up. You put a pin in it. Locks it in place. When you don't need it, put it down out of the way. It gives you more room. This is an example of the 12 volt, as we was talking about earlier up there. 
This is like this is a regular cigarette lighter type plug. That we have everything wired, so you plug it in. Little, little green light comes on, lets you know you have electricity. And then we set this up to show how much light you can get with a couple of LEDs. Very bright. You can read. So in a long-term emergency, say you had a generator, but you eventually ran out of gas to run it with. If you had some solar panels, you could charge your 12 volt batteries. You still could have a minimal amount of electricity. Submarine tub, waterproof, reinforced steel, lots of storage. Ready, Ready for, for action. action. The Survival Center's premier underground shelter. Call us today for your free consultation. 1-800-321-2900. That number again, 1-800-321-2900. Ask for Richard. Shelters can arrive stocked.